，谢谢大家。Thanks everybody。那么，嗯，这个楼在今年的八月份我们会开始建造。This building will begin construction August this year。那么，它是一次嗯全新的尝试，全部用模块化的方法在工厂。This will be a totally new attempt. That everything will be fabricated in the factory. Ah, 那么在这张我要讲的这个稿子上面呢，有这个建造的时间在右边。So in this PPT, you can see the construction time on the right corner. 嗯，那我们这里用很短的时间，因为我们的时间很有限。我们就只能挑几个重点来讲解了。So now we have a limited time, so I will pick few important points to discuss. 那这个楼的这个特点，它是一个混合社区的，一个非常实用的一个建筑。So one key point of this building is it is a mixed-use building. 那么，嗯，土地是我们现在中国。最严重的问题，由于建筑大量占用土地，导致了这个，嗯，生态的问问题和社会的问题。Land issue is a top concern in China because of the occupation of the land has a caused a lot of social and environmental issues. 而且由于土地的占用，由于建筑的平面发展，导致对交通的依赖很多。Because of the land consumption and the development of buildings has created huge demands for transportation. 那更大的问题呢，就是建筑的能源问题。Even bigger problem is the energy consumption. 我们公司在过去的二十五年都一直在做能源设备和能源系统。Our building, our company, in the past twenty-five years, have been manufacturing energy equipments. 那我们最擅长的是冷热电联厂。Our 直接利用废热来进行制冷制。Our best capabilities are in the cogene technology, using exhaust to create cooling. 那光仅仅就是这项技术的使用呢，使得一个建筑的能耗就可以降低一倍。Just even this one technological application in the building, we can decrease the energy consumption by fifty percent. 那我们在过去的四年时间开发的这个工厂化的这个建筑。So in the past four years, we have developed prefabricated factory-made buildings. 把建筑的本身的节能、本体的节能当做最重要的方面。And we treat the embodied energy conservation as the most important part. The building that you just saw, its window are triple layer. And the parts that are not windows, it's 20 centimeters insulation. And there's a heat recovery system. 那么还有用全部百分之一百的 LED 灯 ，and using hundred percent LED light illumination。总之，这个建筑呢，比普通的建筑，在我们当地的情况下，大概要降低五倍的能耗。So this building, as compared to conventional buildings in the local area, can decrease energy consumption by fifty percent. 那不论是从保护环境，还是从将来住户的这个经济负担方面。No matter it is to preserve the environment or to decrease the of energy use of the residents, it will have created huge benefits. 那我本人也是因为建筑的节能，嗯，特别的重视，做了很多实际的事情。然后联合国给我一个地球卫士。Personally, because of my work in energy conservation, that I have received a recognition from. UN as the 2011 champion of the earth. 那这一次我们做这个嗯二百零二层的这个建筑，其中最主要的目的就是要让人让人们来关注建筑本体有这么大的节能空间。And this time we're building this 202 story tall building. Our main hope is to draw people's attention to see that within a building there is such big area for energy consumption. 我们在中国北方地区建的这个房子是三十公分的保温。So in northern China, we have built a building with a thirty centimeters of insulation. 我们已经建了二十呃，建了三十多栋这样的楼，都是做了很很严密的保温，做了三三十公分保温四层玻璃的窗户。Twenty buildings of this kind uses a twenty centimeters of insulation and triple layer window. 
呃，总之呢，节能是所有问题的焦点。So in the end, um, energy conservation is the focus of everything. 那这里还有一个特别的问题，就是在中国的空气污染很严重，所以我们很重视空气的过滤。And there's another issue here is that in China, air pollution is a serious problem, so we paid a lot of attention to、uh, air purification. 那由于我们采用的是这个热热回收的这种新风设备，所以我们的新风给的量就特别的多，是百分之一百给新风。Because we are using、um, uh, heat ventilation recovery,、uh, so that's why we're providing a lot of fresh air. Hundred percent of the air is fresh air. 那么，呃，避免建筑物里面的，尤其这种大型建筑物里里面的交叉污染。To prevent、uh, cross Contamination in buildings, especially buildings of this size. 那么这个建筑的最大的一个特点，一般能够看到的最大的特点是它的空间设计跟以往的超高层建筑完全不同。Uh, another part is that、uh, most people can see that its、uh, spatial arrangement in this building, spatial design, is very different than conventional tall buildings. 呃、uh, ，我们所看见的这个。这个笔可以指吗？不可以吧 ？OK， 可以。我们所看见的那个黄色区域，是一条三米九宽的公路。It is a road that's t meters wide。一直盘旋到一百七十层。Circles up all the way to 170 stories。我往回走，可以走是吧？那么这个楼的这个。我给大家看一看这个楼是个什么样的结构。I want to show you what kind of a structure is this building. 从这里开始，这条公路一直不间断的可以到一百七十层。This road、uh, continues up without interruption to 170 stories tall. 然后呢，从一层一直到一百七十层呢，有有六有五十六个巨大的厅。To the 170th floor, there are 56 halls. 没有柱子的。With no column. 像这个房间。比这个房间大一倍的，没有柱子的。Twice the size of this room w e r sitting in. 十五米六宽，呃，三十一米二长。Fifteen point six meters wide, thirty one point four meters long. 那这些地方呢，都是什么呢？都是什么运动馆啊，嗯，商店呐，剧场呐 ，shops, cinemas， 还有嗯有机农场。And organic farming. 那么人。在这个里面就完全像在城市里面生活一样。So when people live inside here, it's exact、uh, same feeling as living in the city. 在这个空间里面，这底下是 office。On the bottom there are offices。哎，学校。Schools。再往下，学校、医院。Hospitals。嗯，那么还有敬老院，还有幼儿园，所有的生活设施。Kindergartens, everything you need to live. 然后这里住的是中低收入的人，呃，居民。And on the here there is a middle to low income housing。这上面是高收入的居民。And as you go up, there is a high income housing。上面是酒店。And there's a, a hotel on the top。大家共享了这个公共空间。And people all share this public space, this immense public space。那么在过去的这个建筑呢，大家都把它想象成一个封闭体。So in the past that People think about buildings as a closed system. 嗯，居民跟住户跟住户之间很难有来往的机会。And it's very few opportunities. 可是，在我们这里有巨大的，那 residents will interact with each other. 极其方便的可以实现各种交流。But over here, you can very conveniently conduct an interaction. 因为任何人他都只需要。打开门几十秒钟就可以走到这个路上了。Because everybody, all they need is open their doors, and few seconds they're on this road. 当然，他要到达任何一个楼层，也要想更快的到达，就用电梯了。And of course, to get to all these、uh, different floors, if you want to be fast, you can take the elevator. 只是我们这里的电梯的数量比传统的超高层建筑要少了。It is uh, um, that in our circumstances, that our elevators. Are fewer than conventional high-rises. This is one、uh, million square meter in total, and uh, uh, we have 92 elevators for 20,000 people inside. 嗯，最大的特点是这个楼，让每一个人可以在两分钟就可以到达地下的那个地面的那个森林区。我们保护了三百米半径的这个森林。
another very important part is that we preserved um, 300 acres of forest on the bottom, which you can access with few minutes taking the elevator down to the ground. 然后有有十七个这个空中花园有八千平米。And then there are 17 uh, rooftop gardens in total of 8,000 square meters. 然后在里面还有很大的这个有机农场。And we have huge organic farms inside. 有八万平米。86,000 square meters. 也就是住户呢，他可以嗯享受自己去种田种菜的这个乐趣。So residents can enjoy uh, growing. Uh, food by themselves and the fun of it. 总之，这个建筑的空间跟传统的建筑是完全不一样的。So, um, in some that the space in this building is different than conventional buildings. 至于它的结构设计，没有什么很特别的地方。And in its structural design, there's nothing too special. 那么，嗯，是按照这个采用的是这个H钢。It is according to the H beam. 嗯，百分之一百的钢结构。It's a hundred percent steel structure. 而且都是在工厂装，工厂制作，现场螺栓连接的。And everything is fabricated in the factory and assembled, connected together by bolts on site. 过去的一整年时间，十二个月时间，我们一直在做这个钢结构的评审。and in the past 12 months, uh, we have been undergoing the review process by the government of uh, super tall buildings. 那么，嗯，它的一个特点就是它的公共空，它的这个空间非常大。One special part is that in the public space, uh, 每一个没有住, the space is huge. 每一个没有住址的空间都是两百四十平米，十五米六乘十五米六。In uh, each of the columnless area, it's uh, fifteen meters by fifteen meters. So the space flexibility is great. 然后呢，这个建筑的这个，嗯，因为它是工厂化的、模块化的，所以它的品质是很高的。Because the building is a modular, so the quality is really good. 就像我们过去建了三十多种类似的楼一样的。Such as in the past thirty buildings that we have built. It is very rare to find one uh, human faults in these buildings. 那如果, 嗯, 传, 呃, 不论是在西方国家, in the conventional um, methods, no matter it's in the east or in the west, they use temporary uh, workforce that is assembled um, instantaneously to build. And all of our employees, our workers, are stable career workers. So the quality is very insurable. And another very important part. So our building, in comparison to conventional buildings, we are only a half to a third of the cost. This is a very difficult part to explain, but we have great confidence. Because we have built 30 buildings, every building is completely correct. Because in the past 30 or so buildings, the, uh, the result has, is uh, according to our prediction and our budgeting. So this uh, demands us to make our um, buildings beyond 100 story tall to become a standardized model building. And with regard to the issue of speed that you have seen our 30 story uh, building built in uh, one week, um, uh, two weeks, sorry, and that uh, applies to this building as well, this project. So people have seen our uh, video on YouTube. And this kind of building we're building almost every day right now. No one on earth have thought about to build their buildings this way. 
。然后呢，嗯，大家都知道干结构建筑的寿命，这个我就不用多说了。And people all are aware of the lifespan of、uh, steel structure buildings. Then I don't have to say much. 那么对于中国来说，它的意义就特别重大。中国的土地问题、能耗问题。呃，都是非常严重的问题。Because of the land issue and the energy issue are, are very severe. 甚至于不仅仅是环境问题。It is not only an environmental issue. 也不仅仅是经济问题。Not only economic issue. 甚至于是政治问题。It is perhaps even a political issue. 那我们就想给人家给中国一个示范。And we want to give China a demonstration. Next slide. 对全世界来说，我们这个建筑也是一个示范。And this building is even a, an example for the world. 那么，嗯。我们相信这个建筑，大家在全世界的人在关注它的这个第一高楼的这个同时。I believe as the world is、uh, focusing on this building as being one of the tallest, the the highest building in the world. 可以看到一种既提高生活质量又降低污染物排放、氧化碳排放的一条一条新的路径。A path where you can decrease、um, CO2 emissions as well as increasing、uh, life quality. 然后呢，我们可以看一看这个， and then we can see 这个建筑里面的一些主要数据。Some of the important data in this building. 像这个资料呢，我这里带了有， so、this, 有十几本啊，有兴趣的也可以来问我要。等一下。Literature, I have、uh, dozens of them. Whoever is interested can take it from me. 可以研究一下这些数据。And you can study these、uh, data. 再往下呢，我有一个这个对公司的这个介绍。And at the end, I have a company introduction. 嗯。最后面我们有六条价值。At the end, we have six core values of our company. 第一条呢 ？Number one. 哎，就是百分之九十工厂制造。Is the is ninety percent built in the factory. 这是我们这个我们叫可持续建筑的最关键的一条。And this, to our understanding of sustainable building, this is the most crucial point. 第二条呢是。五倍节省能源。And the second article is、uh, five times、uh, more energy efficient. 每一个建筑都根据当地的情况，一定要设计出节省五倍的标准。And、each building, according to local conditions, must design to conserve five times the energy. 嗯，第三条呢就是空气品质。And third is the air quality. 即便是伦敦的空气品质非常好，这种高效率的过滤还是有必要的。In London, with、uh, such good air quality. Uh, high air uh, filtration is still needed. 第四条就是干结构建筑，全干结构建筑的抗震水平总是最高的。It is the all structure, uh, uh, all steel structure, because steel structure is uh, most uh, earthquake resistant. 然后就是更加耐久，尽量的耐久。More durable, last longer. 尽量用少的材料，凡是多余的材料都不使用。Using very little materials, and excess materials are never used. 还有就是我们尽量的用。建高楼来节省土地。And in the end is that we hope to build、uh, buildings as tall as possible to save land. 而且每一栋楼一定是混合功能的。And every building must be mixed. 减少对交通的依赖，上下班完全在一个楼或者是两栋楼之间。Reliance. 通过步行。On transportation, vehicle transportation, and going to work,、uh, relies on foot, your foot between buildings. 谢谢大家。Thank you. Thank you.